in Sportsman's Park, we do have uh, a bit of a nod to the 1964 club. We call them the comeback kids, you know, being down uh, six games with 12 games to play and, and making this incredible run to the pennant and winning on the last day. And um, in those days, the players are still wearing the, uh, the polished black leather cleats. There's not a lot of padding or um, anatomical ergonomic feelings in those things. And in fact, we had uh, Mr. Brock in recently, and he looked at those shoes. He goes, oh, man, I feel bad for the guy that had to wear those. And I said, Lou, those are your shoes. I said, oh, get out of here. Those couldn't be mine. <laughs> yes, they're, Lou, you're, they're your shoes. It's hard to believe he was as effective on the base pads as he was wearing those. I mean, they, they look like they're barely hanging together. Right, and really the, the padding underneath, well, hardly there is any and, and some of our older listeners might remember you know it's basically a piece of cardboard with six spikes on your you know under each foot so um, Lou loves seeing these shoes here of course they've got Brock's name written in the back of the um, the flap or you'd come over your shoestrings on top to keep your shoestrings down. You mentioned some of the key cogs of that 64 team it was late in the year because obviously there was a pretty good second baseman in front of them mm-hmm. but Dal Maxwell come in and a new addition here at the Cardinals Hall of Fame you, you've got that 64 World Series jersey. Well we're very excited we've uh, recently acquired Dal Maxwell's home World Series jersey from 64, the jersey he's wearing when he caught the final out uh, in Game 7 of the 64 World Series and it clinched that championship for us. It wasn't until the very last series of the season, you know, the Cardinals had a pretty good second baseman. A really good <laughs> second baseman, Julian Javier and of course uh, the double play was tandem short was the stop. double, was you so know, shortstop right. and of course Boyer at third and White at first. I mean, you had a real outstanding infield here and uh, it was late in the season if not, is either the last game or the second second last game. If I'm not mistaken, the Cardinals are playing the Mets, and um, I only know this story as a, a family friend. Uh, he passed away a couple years ago, but Hawk Taylor was a big catcher slash corner outfielder for the New York Mets in 64. And uh, as Hawk had recalled, uh, there was a play, you know, a, almost a swinging bunt in a sense. Uh, White charged the ball. Javier came around from second to cover first. And you know, somehow the, the throw was up the line and took him into the runner, and there was a collision at first, and it injured Javier, and Javier was out for the World Series. Well, here's the young, <laughs> fresh-faced, light-hitting, great fielding. From just across the river? That's I mean, right. Yeah. Dal Maxwell that steps in, and well, you know, as Bobby Richardson came up to the plate, and, and Gibson induced the pop-up, and darn if it wasn't Dal Maxwell there to squeeze it and, and uh, clinch that championship for us. In Sportsman's Park.